What's good, YouTube? I'm gonna get straight to the point and cut the chase. Y'all read the title of this video. So the reason you want to free form the ball is to throw the ball further. That's the only reason. Look, so for instance, say we run in bench. Run in bench. If I throw that ball, he's not going to get that far out to where I can rack catch it. Now, if I run bench and I press the LT button to free form and I hold it in and then I throw this pass, it's going to throw it further. That's the reason you free form. It's not that complicated. Now that time he didn't defeat his defender. I'm going to try to get you a better one. Right there. I'm throwing it so I get a better rack catch. That's why I'm free forming. I'm free forming so I get a better rack catch. Now, say for instance, this is what is going to be even better. The main thing is when you're throwing streaks. I'm not going to free form this streak. Now watch what happens. I just throw the streak. I'm not going to have enough space. And the KO is probably going to get to me. Now watch what happens when I lob it. And I free form it. Goes further. Now I can rack catch it and get out of there. Now also, the high ball free form is very useful. That's my favorite. Watch. High ball, pressing LB and our LT, and then free forming. And that's going to give you the furthest pass, in my opinion. Holding both of these buttons, LT and LB, that's how I like to throw my lobs. Both of them. I think that's how you throw it the furthest. And right here. Okay, you just dropped the fucking ball. I mean, come on, video. We're not trying to make this a long video. You get the point. You get the point of what I'm saying. Next, another reason you might want to free throw, free form a ball is for quick short throws to get a different animation. So watch what I mean. Right here, I'm going to quickly press RB. He's going to catch in his stride like that, right? Cool. But say I want that to go a little forward. Now I can press free form and then lead pass it up and watch how it throws now. That shit was inaccurate as fuck. That's the only downside to free forming, I will say. Pressing that OT button, you have a chance to overthrow it. But right here, if you try to make a quick throw, uh, in my opinion, it can get the ball off faster. If you press LT, in my opinion, you can throw that short ass throw fast as fuck. Like this route spot shake, I'll always press LT to throw this running back. Another one. If you're throwing one of these wheel routes, right? Say I just throw a regular, regular wheel, catch it, you know what I'm saying? But, if I free form it, watch what happens. That was ass. But it changes the way the pass will be thrown. It changes the way the pass will be thrown. Sometimes, you need to throw the ball a little bit more outside. What free form does gives you the ability to place the ball a little further outside. So for instance, I'm going to throw this lob pass to the outside now. See? Now I can throw the lob to the right. But if I would have just lobbed the ball to the... Watch this. If I just lobbed the ball to the right, look what happened. Jair played it. So that's the importance of free forming. That's why you should free form in the game to throw the ball further. So you can get a better animation to where the defender will not knock the ball out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Master Scout, we out. Some of these tips are simple. You know what I'm saying? But for you advanced guys, just bear with me. You know I'm bringing you slick little tips. But, the, you know, the basic, you know, the basic dudes who not pros yet. I'm not going to forget about y'all. You know what I'm saying? But that's why we freeform, man. Make sure you have freeform on. If you're playing on classic, you are at a major disadvantage. Because you cannot fit balls into those. Tight, I'm saying some wild pause, we out.